All right, YouTube, so for this video, we are going to either set up a Pi 3, Pi 2, or Pi 0, setting it up with Pixel Operating System, writing an image that way. And what we've done so far is I've gone to the website, raspberrypi.org, go to downloads, and they have something here called Raspbian Jesse with Pixel. Uh, it's about, I just finished downloading it. As you see, I downloaded the zip. Uh, it took a good 20 minutes to download on my internet. It's 1.5 gigabytes, and then I extracted the RAR, so you open, you're going to download it as a zip, and then you can just unrar it or unzip it, either one, and then you're going to come out with an image here. Next, we're going to go ahead and format our SD card, so I use SD Formatter, so we're going to go ahead and uh, run as administrator with Format G. Okay, okay. All right, we format our drive. Next thing we're going to do is open Win32 run as administrator and we're basically going to grab this image and put it onto there so again we want G that's the drive we want here we are in our new folder Raspian Jesse image go press open we got it there we have the right device make sure you have the right device otherwise this could turn very bad very quick and we're gonna go ahead and write it and press yes and it's a one gig file so it should write pretty quick depending on the speed of your SD card as well uh, just so you know, with SD cards, there's write speed and there's read speed. A lot of times they're advertising the read speed, so like 80 megabytes per second read. There's no way they write that fast. But as you can see, it's moving along quite nicely. In about 5 to 10 minutes, this will be done. And what I'll do, what it'll say is write complete. When write is complete, we're going to remove the micro SD from our computer and we'll be placing it into our either Raspberry Pi 0, 1, 2, or 3. So there you have it. I mean, that's it, people. You just booted it up. I just showed you everything that happens within two, within like 120 seconds. You're in your new Pixel operating system, running great. You have your programming. You got a whole Office suite, not Microsoft, but Libre, which works just great. I mean, it's good for a student. Internet, you do have an internet browser. I'm on a Pi Zero. Those people on a Pi Three, you can hook up a mouse and keyboard. Pi Zero, you need to get a hub so you can multiply, you can put more things on. I'm just plugged in with a mouse only right now, no keyboard. As you can see, we have no Wi-Fi because you have to hook up a Wi-Fi dongle if you're on the Pi Zero. If you're on the Pi Three, easily just go ahead and connect your Wi-Fi up here. If you want to add a Bluetooth device, you can, but again, I'm on the Pi Zero. Also, the Pi Three, it's going to say like zero percent up here, where my Pi Zero, it's struggling along. It takes ten percent of its <laughs> power just to just to get my mouse moving on the background. Uh, internet is Chromium, comes pre-installed there. There are some games, including Minecraft and uh, Python games. So Minecraft, running on the Pi Zero, look at that, I jumped to 70% of my power was used there for getting uh, Minecraft open. Uh, we can go ahead and close window there. Uh, just for an experiment, let's see what happens if I start a game, how much processor power that uses as a start game. Create new world. Let's see. It's going to chug along. 85%. 100% is not liking this. It's not liking this at all. It's like, Jesus. Okay. So you've seen the limitations of the Pi Zero again. Uh, but it's going. I mean, it's moving along. You know, this is what it's all about. Like, getting the most out of cheap things. It's, that's pretty cool. Um, so we're at 100, 100, 100. Maybe once this gets built, it's going to be calm down. It's going to be like, okay, we can breathe again. Saving chunks. All right. So again, I only have the mouse. So as I dig, how much processor power am I doing? Do you eventually like go dig yourself a hole here? So not bad. I'm at 41%. So I bet you could totally play this game. The only thing is how do you get out of the game once you're in it? Especially if you only have a mouse. That's always an issue as well, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug the mouse, unplug the keyboard, press escape on the keyboard, and then uh, unplug the keyboard, plug back in the mouse, get my mouse back, and then quit to title. And then now I can go close. There's also some other cool games like Tetris and things like that on here under, where are they, games, Python games. And another thing to do, one of the, actually the first thing you should do is go to your 
make sure if you don't get audio, you have your audio device settings up and running. So you have it either out of HTC, like right here, it's asking you already. Force HDMI, da, da, da. it found mine, my HDMI automatically, so I'll just say okay. Uh, but what I wanted to do actually was the, um, okay, there's games, it asked me for games, so you need to press a key, okay. But back on the keyboard, go to keyboard layout. This is the Pi Zero, guys. If you're on the Pi 3, this is much, much, much faster. And see, as you see, by default, it's on the United Kingdom, English, UK. The at sign is a little different for that, so you want to click over here to United States. And then all the way on the right here, you got to scroll up. Look, it's hidden. You got to go, oop, there it is. English, US. Press OK. It might ask you to reboot. OK. It didn't, though. So there you have it. Really cool that, you know, for this cheap of a thing, you, are, you have a computer. A computer that could potentially, you know, entertain you. You can watch things on here. You can watch YouTube videos on here. Uh, play some games. It's really cool. I love open source. There's something so amazing about the Pi. And I mean, people who don't have money can have access to this, can learn how to program it. Like, how cool is that? Like, I just think that's awesome. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a little like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.